pray that you'll not be falling and rising, falling into pride, rising from pride, falling back into pride, rising from pride. Pray that God will give you a permanent experience of humility, of lowliness, of meekness before the Lord. That pride in its very nature be totally crushed permanently out of your life, out of your heart. In your thought, in your language, in your appearance, in your disposition, in your attitude everywhere, in all your actions. That God himself will be able to be a witness of your humility. As he did for Moses. So Moses, my servant, is not so. It's meek beyond all the people on the earth. Submit and surrender to the word of the Lord. Seek only his glory, not your glory. Seek only his honor, not your own honor. Seek only his exaltation and not your own exaltation. God says, I'll not share my glory with any man. Let the Lord do a permanent work like he did in Nebuchadnezzar. After God has done this, he never went back into that pride again. He said, now all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing before him. He realized that that became a permanent experience of his life. And he always remembered. He remembered every day. When the temptation came to be proud again, he said, no. Those that walk in pride, he is able to abase. He reminded himself of that every day. That kept him humble. Remind yourself of the word of God every day. When the temptation comes to be proud. When the temptation comes to be haughty. When the temptation comes to resist. The word, the will, the revelation of God in your life. Remind yourself. They that walk in pride, he the almighty God, the ancient of days, the most high, he is able to abase. And let the fear of God control your life, your lifestyle, your character, your conduct. So as humility becomes the visible thing that people see, you are clothed with humility. If you pray, he will answer. Purge me with Esau, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. 